What's, that What's up guys? I am Laura from Reading in Bed. Today is Friday, December 1st, so it's the very first of my daily videos in December in which we're going to reveal the short story advent calendars uh, daily stories. If you're new to this channel, this is the third year I've been doing this. Um, I will put some links later to, uh, you know, the publisher and some other stuff, but uh, yeah, this is... Um, this is something you can find throughout social media. You're going to want to look for the hashtag SSAC2017. And this year, there's someone else doing daily videos too, which is very exciting. Uh, Anne from I've Read That. I'll get a link in there at some point too, but you can also just kind of search for it. Um, as for me, I do these videos very early in the morning. It's like 6.30. Uh, I'm at my breakfast table and my kids are here with me. So you may hear from them, you may see them. We'll just see how that pans out today. They are busy working on their advent calendars. Traditional chocolate advent calendars. No, we're finished. You're finished already? Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, without much further ado, let's just check this thing out. I've, there's so much anticipation to see what the first story is going to be. Uh, now, this is the one and only time you're going to see me removing this vellum sleeve because if you watch my unboxing video, Mommy, I'm a fan. I want to see it. You want to see Yeah, I'll give it to you because actually I ripped it <laughs> when I was staging this thing for an Instagram photo last night. Um, I actually ripped the sleeve right on the corner there. So here, Henry, you can take control of that. Um, so this is how this works. It's just a box set of individually bound stories that are going to take us all the way to Christmas. And let's take out number one. Boys, any guesses? as to what we're going to see in this very first story? Presents and Santa. Presents and Santa, Henry? Elves. Elves? Okay. Now hopefully, let's because see if these... it's like elf color. Oh, yes, the stickers are perforated. So these are sealed, um, but they open very nicely. Now I'm going to reveal this to the camera first, and then we'll see if it's something we can read with the kids in the room. Okay, so the first story is called The Face, and it's by Laird Hunt who I don't know, so I'm just going to flip to the bio. So Laird Hunt is the author of, among other novels, Kind One, Never Home, and Wait, The ben. Evening Road. Twenty is a, a elf boy. A new short and scary <laughs> novel called Red Boy will appear in late 2018. Okay, so this might be a scary story, guys. So who cares? Well, <laughs> you may care. Um, let me see if I can read the very first part. Wait. I think I can. Wait, Ben, there's two on Sam. Hey, don't open number two. Sin. Only number one. I wasn't going to. I was okay. just telling Ben. All right, do you want to hear the very first part of this story? Mm -hmm. Okay. My job that afternoon was to rake leaves for an elderly couple who lived a few miles away from my grandmother's farm in central Indiana. They had half a dozen elephant oaks, each one of them a monster, some big shagbark hickory and a giant maple with pretty red leaves. Mrs. Orealis set me up with a rake, a box of plastic bags, and a pair of her husband's coveralls. I had my own gloves. Well, who's to say what's going to happen in this story? It's, uh, how many pages we got here? 13 pages long. So I'm going to take this to work with me today. I'm in meetings all day, so I don't know. I I'm sure I'll be able to sneak it in. And then tomorrow, when you tune back in and we reveal the second story, I will also tell you what I thought of this first story. Now, since we don't have a previous story to talk about today, and since it is Friday, let's do a quick Friday Reads, hey? Wait, Ben, I know where free is. It's right here. Henry, do you remember what we did last night that had to do with books? Where did we go? Book fair. Book fair. Scholastic book fair. Uh, friends in Canada will probably remember that from their childhoods. Um, so this is just one of the books we picked up. This is The Amazing World of Gumball Recipes for Disaster. And we started this last night. Um, so far it's pretty good. Yeah. about a bake sale or a bake off, you can see. Yeah, um, yeah it's pretty funny. We like gumball, right? Mm -hmm. And we also got a Plants vs. Zombies graphic novel, a book about sharks, and a scary story, right? No, it's not scary. It's absolutely... No, oh, Henry, it's called Shadow House. I'm Shadow sorry. House, right. Oh, yeah. Um, and as for me, I have started The Professor by Charlotte Bronte, which is going to be my very last Bronte novel. It's not one that people seem to like very much, but so far I'm liking it. Um, 
you know, seems fairly dramatic. We've got these brothers who hate each other and, uh, you know, we're in sort of a northern England factory town. So, yeah, so far so good. And the book I finished yesterday for Nonfiction November was called A Crack in Creation. And this book was about CRISPR. So now, instead of me trying to explain to you what CRISPR is, I'm going to bring in our resident CRISPR expert, Benjamin. Benjamin, can you come here and tell the people what CRISPR is? CRISPR is bacteria's DNA. And and what can it do? It can change well, genes. First of all, well, first of all, um, viruses are, are always attacking bacteria. Right. The bacteria usually lose and die. Right. But some of them survive. And then they store some of the DNA from the virus in yeah. them. And then if that virus attacks again, they cut that gene out. Yeah. And, and it's and and then and the virus can't do anything. But one scientist noticed that we could use it on on any gene. Mm-hmm. Who who knows what we're going to do? So now it's gene editing, right? We can mm -hmm. edit genes. Yep. And there's all sorts of weird and scary and wonderful and terrible things that might happen, right? Yep. Yeah, so that's what this book was about. Ben has learned about CRISPR from watching some videos. I thought I would read up a little more, and yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say right now. Um, hey, Henry. <laughs> so I think we're going to say goodbye for this morning. Thank you for watching. Tune in because we're going to be here every morning talking about short stories and talking about other stuff we're reading. You guys want to say goodbye? Bye. Henry? Okay. Thanks for watching.